Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lee Marie with Nokomis Home Fragrance. And in today's video, I wanted to do a quick review of the new Bath & Body Fragrances by Wooden Wick Co. So I basically, as soon as all the fragrances and all the Bath & Body products came out, I purchased samples of just about everything so I could see what I liked and what I didn't like. And so far, everything has been pretty amazing. Um, not surprised at all. But I did want to quick go through some of the fragrances that I got in case you're thinking about getting the fragrances too and you're wondering maybe how they smell, if they're strong, if they're kind of subtle, what the notes are and things like that. So without further ado, let's get started. So for most of these, I bought the little, um, the little 10 ml, the 0.3 ounce. Um, and again, that's because I just like to smell it and then I want to try it maybe in one sample product just to see how it binds with um, the base, uh, whether it's a shower gel base, a lotion base, a body butter. Um, I got some of the flavors for the lip balms, so I'll be making lip balms as well. Let's get started with the lip balm flavors. Now, those are the ones that obviously you're going to be ingesting because whether you like it or not, you ingest lip balm, it's just what happens. Um, and so these are specifically made for lip balms and so they are safe to ingest if you ingest you know just a little bit of it um, so keep that in mind always look at the safety um, data sheets and it will tell you whether or not something is safe for the lips and this is specifically safe for the lips make sure it says flavor instead of fragrance so these are their natural flavors the first one is natural candied mint flavor and so this one Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells exactly like those little red and white peppermints that you get in restaurants. Um, I don't know what they're called, starlight peppermints or something like that. But that is exactly what this smells like. It smells so good. And the best part is it smells like real peppermint. It doesn't smell artificial at all. It's nice and this I think would be just really, really nice in a lip balm. So that one is one I like a lot. Okay, so let's go, I have so many of them. Let's go through and see. Okay, this one is the natural super fruit slushy flavor. This one I was like, what super fruit? I didn't even look at the descriptions. I literally just went through and got a sample of everything. So this one I was a little surprised by. Mm. This one smells very tropical. Um, it smells like passion fruit, pineapple, mango, maybe even a little banana. It just, it smells very, very tropical and very, very nice. This is something that I think in a lip balm would go really, really well. It smells sweet, but not overly sweet. Yeah, this one's really, really nice. So that's the natural super fruit slushy flavor. And that is just a really nice, again, tropical flavors. So think like mango, passion fruit, uh, pineapple, maybe even a little banana in there. Um, that's a really, really nice smell. <laughs> I would like that in a lip balm. And I'm a huge fan of lip balms. That's why I was really, really excited when Wooden Wick announced that they were gonna do body products because I was like, yes, I am a huge, huge fan of lip balm and I would love to make my own lip balm. Okay, so next one we're gonna do the Georgia peach flavor. So this one smells it smells exactly like sweet peaches. That's what I'm getting. It smells exactly like, I don't wanna say peaches in syrup because that makes it seem like it's overly sweet and it's really not. It's a very nice soft peach scent but it smells very natural, like actual, like if you were to smell an actual peach, that's what that smells like. That's really, really nice. 
I'm liking that none of these scents so far are overwhelming and as per usual with Wooden Wick uh, fragrances, they don't smell synthetic or fake, which is one thing I absolutely love about their products. Um, is I, I can't stand smells that just smell artificial and fake and those are the kinds that induce headaches and migraines and I'm just not a fan. So I think that's why I like using their products so much. Um, the next one we have is Natural Coconut Cream. And again, this is a flavor, not a fragrance. So you would not use these in candles. This is specifically for lip balms. And this, mm, this one is very subtle, very subtle. You get a really soft coconut smell and it's not overwhelming at all. It's really soft, maybe even a little too soft. I'd have to see what it's like in the actual lip balm base. It's nice, but it's almost a little bit too subtle for lip balm. But if you're going for like a really nice, just um, very natural, you know, nothing with high fragrance or anything like that, this would be a really nice one to do if you want just a super natural smelling, subtle lip balm. I think this would be a really good one. Okay, and we have one more left. Strawberry lollipop flavor. Oh my God. <laughs> this smells exactly like bubble yum gum. Strawberry bubble yum gum is 100% what this smells like. This smells so good. That is the only thing that's coming to my mind. You, you definitely get strawberry, but there are some bubblegum undertones to this. This smells so good. It smells really, really good. But again, bubble yum, bubble gum is, I'm just like, or juicy fruit. Juicy fruit, strawberry, bubble gum. The really, really big, thick pieces of like fruity bubble gum is exactly what this smells like. This is really nice. I love that smell. Um, so I think this will be a good one too. Um, so those are the five flavors that I got for lip balms. Now I'm going to share with you the scents, the fragrances that I got um, for the body products. Now I will, in a separate video, review the body products that I got. I got a lot of the uh, soap bases, the shower gel bases. I got um, body butter, lotions, body creams, um, and the oils. So I got a lot of different bases that I'm hoping to mix some of these fragrances in. And um, so far, I like what I'm seeing with the bases um, as far as their natural smell and their texture. Um, so I think that will, I'll go over all of that in another video. So you can kind of see the differences in the bases and the texture and all of that and how they feel on the skin. So I'll do that in a separate video, but in this one, I want to do the fragrances that I would be putting into those bases. Okay. So for the fragrances, the first one I got was Neroli Nectar and Peach Musk. And this is a funny one because this one, it smells very earthy. Um, and it's, it's, oh, it's almost hard to, it's like earthy and it kind of smells like dirt, but in a good way. Does that make sense? <laughs> like it smells like fresh earth, but in a good way. And then with the peach, it kind of sweetens it a little bit. So this is a very nice earthy kind of fragrance, just very natural. I think this would be nice in a natural skincare line because it just has that real, just real nice earthiness to it. And it's not too overpowering. It's really not. It's soft and, and like I said, the peach makes it just a little bit sweet. So that's a nice one. Okay, next one is Almond Blossom and Tonka Cream. 
And this one smells like dessert. <laughs> this totally smells like almond dessert. It's very sweet. It smells like almond buttercream. That's probably the closest thing I can say is almond buttercream. This is this is what almond buttercream or like almond cake maybe. It smells very good. It's very nice, but I think it's a little sweet. I think this one would be nice to use, but you'd have to be careful if you use too much of it. It might just be overly sweet. So the fragrance itself is really nice. The almond really comes through, but I'd, I'd just be careful not to use too much of this one because it might be just a little bit too sweet. Okay, next one we have Rainbow Eucalyptus and Peppermint. So this one, immediately get the eucalyptus. <laughs> and the peppermint comes through on the back end. That's really nice. Very um, herbal, but you know, like in a good way, but very, if you're doing any kind of an herbal line or you know, an herb focused uh, skincare line, this would be a really nice addition. It's eucalyptus and it's peppermint, but it's not overwhelming. It does smell really good. This would also make probably ama amazing uh, bath salts or any kind of like relaxing soak. That's really nice. That would probably actually make a really nice candle too. That is really nice. Rainbow, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Okay, next one, aloe water and osmanthus. So this one is absolutely beautiful. Slightly sweet, very clean, very clean smell. This would be beautiful in lotion, body butter, soap. This would be beautiful in soap. This is really, really nice. Aloe water and osmanthus. Very light, clean, slightly sweet. That's beautiful. Oh, the face oil. This would be a beautiful, this would be beautiful in face oil or like a body oil. That's a really, really nice scent. That is just light, slightly sweet, very clean. Um, aloe water and osmanthus. I like that a lot. Okay, so the next one we're going to smell is Island Gardenia and Spiced Ylang. Um, now this one, I always thought the word Ylang is really funny because I thought it was Lang, like the Y was silent, but apparently it's not silent. So Spiced Ylang it is. And this smells very spicy. It's a little bit more on the masculine side. So this would be great if you're doing any kind of a men's line, um, men's beard oil or men's, you know, like antiperspirant or men's lotion, anything for men. I think this would be beautiful and it's a beautiful fragrance, but I think it's a little bit too spicy. It's got a little citrus in there too, but might be a little bit too spicy for um, a women's line. It does smell really, really good though. Spiced or Island Gardenia and Spiced Ylang. So that one may be for a men's line. Okay, next we have Milky Coconut Suntan Lotion. And this pretty much smells as advertised. <laughs> It's very coconutty, which I love. It's the first thing you get is coconut. But it is a creamy coconut, if that makes sense. Um, there's, a, there's a creaminess to the coconut. And yeah, I mean, that's, it's definitely not like, you know, some suntan lotions are super like fake smelling or overwhelming. This isn't like that at all. This is like a, a very creamy coconut smell. 
So I think this is actually really nice. This would probably go well in, um, in a lotion, in a shower gel, um, in a soap. It's a really, really nice scent. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter than I thought it would be, but I think that's a good thing because sometimes when you think of suntan lotion, it's that really fake smelling coconut. And this is just like a very nice, light, creamy coconut smell. So that one's really nice. Okay, next is Crisp Cucumber and Water Lily. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, Crisp Cucumber and Water Lily. Absolutely beautiful. This smells so clean, so fresh, with a slight floral undertone. This is lovely. This would be beautiful in lotions, body butters, that facial oil or like a body oil again. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. This is lovely. Wow, that smells really, really good. Very, very fresh, um, clean smell. Very light, but not so light. I mean, it's when I say light, I mean it's like light and refreshing. The smell is, you know, there, it's obviously there, but it, it gives you like the feelings of something that's light and refreshing as, a, as opposed to something that's heavy and, you know, like heavily spiced or heavily, you know, it's very light and refreshing. And so that I think for um, a face lotion or any kind of like light um, body lotions would be really, really nice in. Okay. Next one, Lush Lavendin and Tahitian Vanilla. Who doesn't love lavender and vanilla together? Let's see what we've got here. Definitely get lavender um, off the top. But as you smell it, it's almost curbed by like this very subtle, warm vanilla. This, this is very beautiful. Yeah, you definitely get lavender, but it doesn't hit you like straight lavender. I think it's the vanilla really kind of softens it. This would be beautiful in like bath soak, uh, bath salts, bath bombs, and lotion, body butter. That's really nice. It's a, it's a mellow lavender, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I like that a lot. Lush Lavendin and Tahitian Vanilla. That's a really good one. Okay, so there were two other fragrances that I ordered that I wanted a bigger size in because I wanna try these out in multiple products just because I thought they would be convenient in, you know, like it would, it may work in a lotion, in a face oil, even in a candle, a body butter, a bath soak. Um, so the two that I got that I thought were really versatile, Arabian Jasmine and Bayes, Bias, Bayes, I don't know how to say that, Rose. <laughs> um, so this one, I thought, you know, this could work again in bath bombs, soaks, lotions, butters, face oils, shower gels, and a lot of things. And so that's why I got the two ounce um, of this one. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. It's much more subtle than I thought it would be. For some reason, anything with roses, I always feel like it's gonna be overwhelming, you know? That rose smell can be very overwhelming and kind of, you know, off-putting. But immediately I get jasmine. Jasmine is the top note here for sure. This is really nice. This is not what I expected this to smell like at all. Very feminine. There, it's a soft, feminine floral, if that makes sense. But that jasmine is beautiful, my God. Yeah, I was right about this. This would definitely work in, like I said, a bath bomb, a soak, a bath salts, probably a candle. I do wanna try this in a candle because it does smell so nice. 
um, maybe in lotion, a face oil, a body oil, a shower gel for sure. This would make a beautiful shower gel. Um, so this one I think is one that's very versatile and I'm glad that the rose was not overwhelming. You got it like towards the end, but the jasmine's really what stood out in this and the jasmine is absolutely beautiful. Um, very, very feminine and, and, uh, and delicate smell. This is really, really nice. And then the last one I got was the Manuka Milk and Bergamo Honey. Um, I love the idea of, you know, honey scented skincare. And so that's why I wanted to try this one out. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. This fragrance is, oh my God. You definitely smell honey. I mean, you get honey off the bat, but there is a beautiful creamy sweetness to it. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, the, the words I'm trying to use to describe these, but this is gorgeous. Manuka milk and bergamo honey. Wow. This would also definitely work in so many products. Absolutely. But this I think would be really, really nice in lotions. This, I, I could see this being in a body butter, in a body lotion, a body cream, a face lotion. That is such a lovely smell. I mean, that's, that's kind of the only way I can describe it. It's just lovely. It's, you, you get the honey. It's not overwhelmingly honey. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. There's a creaminess to it. I guess that's where the milk comes in. There's definitely a creaminess to this. It's absolutely beautiful. Manuka milk and bergamo honey. Absolutely beautiful. I want to put this in everything. So I will be trying this in many, many products. Okay. So that does it for today's video. That was my review of the new Bath and Body fragrances and flavors. Um, from Wood & Wick Co. I hope that you found this uh, to be informative and to help you make your decisions of what products you want to try and buy from Wood & Wick Co. Just so you know, I do love Wood & Wick Co. products, but this is not a sponsored video. They have not paid me to do this or sent me free product. This is all stuff that I bought myself for my business um, and to try out because like I said, I really do love their products. Um, so if you like this video and would like to see more like it, definitely hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until then, I will see you again next week for my review of the, um, body products. So the lotions, the body butters, the oils, the shower gels, and soaps. I will be reviewing those as well. I will see you then. Bye.